Hi and welcome to this DCP Web Excel 2019 beginners tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to change cell background colors in an Excel spreadsheet. So let's open up this spreadsheet. We've been using this in our last few tutorials. The first one we looked at doing the auto sum function and in the last tutorial we looked at adding cell borders. You can see these black borders around the cell. When you go to file and you go to print preview you'll see that there's these black borders around there so that helps when you print out a physical document to read through it but let's say someone sends you this spreadsheet um, it's got phone costs internet costs staff wages it's got the months down here and you see an error in here and you want to highlight that so you don't want to call someone up and say look i've viewed the spreadsheet and i can see there's an error in there and you need to fix it it would just be easier if you just go and do something like okay this 150 is wrong for some reason right you just click on it and then there's, here's the background color the fill color so you can click there and mark it red so that's what i would normally do so one of my clients or one of my colleagues sends me a spreadsheet and i can see there's an error in that spreadsheet i simply highlight it red and i send it back and say please check spreadsheet highlighted in red is errors please fix and send back that way you know it's nice and easy you don't have to pick up a phone and try and explain everything to everyone or look at a spreadsheet very very simple there's another reason why you may want to um, change the background colors that's more for aesthetics so if you want to get rid of that red color simply select it and then go to here and then do no fill so now you've got no no colored field right so let's go and highlight this top section here this one here and we'll make that a specific color like blue and then we can highlight January and we can make that some sort of other color like green, right? Then we can just alternate them between green and yellow. So this is more of a visual thing. This has got nothing to do with really, um, you know, um, have anything to really do with uh, functionality. But visually, you may just want to separate these so they're easier to read later um, on, the, on the actual document. Now, in theory, we should be able to select this hold down the shift key uh, let's see let's see if we can do two rows at the same time okay so if we if we click here hold down the control key and select this row of data let's see let's select this row first then hold down the control key we can select this one holding down the control key we can select that one so every time i'm selecting one of the, these uh, every other row i'm selecting right holding down the control key so the next color would have been yellow so in theory we should be able to click here and select the yellow and then highlight this one hold down the control key and then just highlight these ones and then we can make those all green and then the bottom one here we might make blue as well like the top one right so let's make that blue now we've got our spreadsheet looks a bit colorful maybe that's what you want to represent or present normally i just do stuff in black and white I prefer that rather than having loads of color um, another quick tip for you is if in your spreadsheet sometimes you will receive a spreadsheet and you see these hashes like this right and you're thinking what's going on that just doesn't look right and when you click on it you can see there's information in there that's because the cell isn't wide enough so if you ever see that in a spreadsheet like this or if you just want to resize everything so it fits nicely just click up here and then move your mouse cursor in between any of the two columns and then just double left click and when you double left click excel will spread them all out evenly so that all the data looks nice then you're pretty much sorted so we can go to file print preview and now we can see the print version with these alternating colors and that might just make it a little bit easier to read and to mark things off and just to check it and make sure it's correct or you just may want to visually make it look a little bit better right so let's close that down that's how you go about adding or using the fill option for an excel spreadsheet we'll be going through some more complex tutorials soon but i thought we'd just go through some basic ones first and then we'll go through some more sort of complex uh, spreadsheet techniques let's minimize this i hope you find that tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial